So in line with the last video on the channel, a couple of weeks ago, I got the chance to go out to KTM's brand new adventure bike experience at the Sweet Lamb Complex in Aberystwyth, Wales, as part of a media launch that they were doing there. So to summarize, the KTM Adventure Bike Experience is about teaching you how to ride an adventure bike better off-road in a stunning environment and with some of the best adventure bikes available, in this case, the 790 Adventure R. So I'll break down my review in that kind of format. But before I do, I just wanna tackle the why. So look, in my opinion, the larger adventure bikes um, out there in the market have attracted a whole bunch of different riders from different backgrounds, um, some from obviously an off-roading background who just want to do more touring and more road riding and they found that these adventure bikes can do a great job on the road too. And then totally from the other end of the spectrum, there's a huge amount of riders who've come into the adventure scene from other parts of the market, whether that's sort of touring, uh, sports bikes, you know, whatever really. Um, and they've just been really uh, impressed about what an adventure bike can offer, you know, and why not? Like massive comfort, nice riding position, super plush present, uh, suspension, wind protection, plus then the idea that if they ever wanted to, they could probably have a wobble off-road as well. But, you know, riding a motorcycle off-road is totally different to riding on-road and it does need some correction. So if you've only been riding on-road on a motorcycle, the likelihood is that you're going to need some serious correction as a lot of the theories are actually quite opposite. So for example, on road, you're used to having traction all the time, whereas off-road, you've got to get used to the idea that you pretty much have no traction or very little. On the road, you're sitting down. Off-road, you stood up. On the road, you kind of lean into the corner and on off-roading, a lot of the time you're leaning away from the corner. Um, but you know, in any case, being a good off-road rider 100% makes you a better on-road rider in all cases. So the KTM Adventure Experience is kind of a factory-backed training experience where you can really learn how to ride these bikes properly off-road and get the most out of them. Now there are four courses available um, as part of what they do there, taking you from bronze um, right the way up to pro uh, progressively and getting more advanced with each training course building on top of the other one. All the details for the courses and the pricing information is available on the website and I'm going to put the link in the description below. So part of the media day basically we got a taster of what they have to offer so it's quite varied. So you know firstly the Sweet Lamb Complex is massive. It's a six and a half thousand acre site um, near Aberystwyth and is pretty breathtaking. I mean, when you get onto the top of the mountains there, it's like you've got your own mountain range. It's unbelievable. The trails are fantastic. They're quite varied. There's lots of that typical hard packed stony fire track, quite reminiscent of the stuff that we rode last year in the south of Spain. Um, there's grass hillsides to go down. The, then on the other side of the complex, um, there's terrain that's totally different. It, it goes into this really loose slate track, which is much harder to find traction on. There's got uh, lots of ascents, lots of descents. They've got stream crossings, a bunch of really interesting stuff to tackle. And then of course, there's the training areas where there's a lot of obstacles, there's you know, um, big bumps, there's um, you know, concrete slabs, logs, and so on. Overall, the facilities are great. Um, all of the cabins are brand new log cabins. We've got changing rooms, uh, great catering through the day. You're not gonna be wanting on any of that variety. And there's a separate venue where you have lunch and that's really nice. So look, if you're out in that part of the world, the likelihood is you'll need to stay at a hotel. Um, we stayed at the, um, the Hayford Hotel at the Devil's Bridge, it's about 10 minutes from Sweet Lamb. It's a really nice hotel and perfect for that post beer ride and food. There's absolutely naff all phone reception anywhere in that little pocket of Wales. So you can kind of treat the whole experience a bit of a technology retreat as well. So look, in my opinion, the facilities in the complex at Sweet Lamb are second to none. And I really don't think you're gonna find anything better in the UK in which to do this type of thing. In terms of the bikes, um, of course, they are the uh, 790 Adventure R, and this is just an incredible bike. And if you want to know more about what I think of it, check out our separate uh, review video that we posted last week. So on to the instruction. 
Now getting instruction from motorcycle type people can be a bit intimidating. Now I've been on some experiences on track where I found the instruction quite intimidating and the instructors, you know, talk down to you, make you feel like crap basically. Um, and then on the flip side, I've had experiences where you just sort of like dropped into deep end and, you know, get on it son. So most of the day I had Molly as an instructor. And honestly, I found his style really fantastic. It was warm, friendly, approachable, and encouraging as well. You know, Molly encouraged me on several occasions when I was doing something right, which really, really helps in that learning process. And it gave some uh, much uh, needed input on areas that I was struggling on as well. You know, I dropped the bike a couple of times uh, at slow speeds during the day, and it appears to me that they just kind of accept that this is part of learning. And that whole, kind of tone just really helps with your confidence to try new things. We had quite a bit of instruction when we went to Red Tread last year from Ed who runs um, Red Tread out in Spain and I was really pleased to find that a lot of the instruction um, was kind of consistent with that. It was like this Chris Birch style uh, principles on body positioning and cornering techniques and uh, balancing, use of the rear brake, slow speed maneuvering, all that kind of stuff. And the effectiveness of this stuff is absolutely night and day and can literally leapfrog you months of progress in a very short space of time. Now the instructors at Sweet Lamb deliver this instruction really well and you know what, even I could understand what they were talking about. Uh, particularly on cornering, this instruction super helped me and by the end of the day I was so much more confident on the bike. Not from the idea that I've been riding a lot longer or I've been riding the bike all day, but from the point of view of actually applying the principles that they were teaching. And um, yeah, it just took me on much further um, than I'd expected to. The style of instruction is that they really want you to develop as much as possible in the time that you're with them. So they tended to take you to the training area, uh, teach you something, and then get you back out onto the trails to put it into practice. I really, really like that style of uh, teaching because you know, it's bite sized it's like bite sized chunks are going to teach you something and then go and um, like cement it. It really helps you cement those principles and actually um, not just overload you with stuff. So for one example, we spent quite a lot of time, um, you know, focusing on cornering and we were slaloming up, up this uh, trail basically. And that really helped to cement the principle for me. Um, look, you know what, if you just want to ride off road and you're not really interested in instruction, this kind of course probably isn't for you. Um, but if you're interested in becoming a better rider and you really want to develop your skills, then 100% this course is for you. All in all, I've got no doubt that I would have been a better rider by the end of the day and a two day course, I would definitely go much further. So do I recommend going on this course? Absolutely. Uh, if you own your own bike or you're wanting to own this type of adventure bike, it's definitely gonna enable you to get the most out of your bike and it's gonna open your eyes to what you think is possible um, and it's gonna give you the skills to get out there and make the best of it. And especially for the new guy who's sort of new to the adventure scene, 100% uh, you are gonna need some instruction and there's no better place, uh, bikes or instructors, to get you confident. So look, thanks so much for watching. All the links um, for what I've been talking about are available just in, in, in the description below. Please like, please comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.